Hey there, I'm Nev, I'm a dev, and for most of my time on YouTube here, I've been known as kind of the svelte dev YouTuber. And for the last like one and a half years, I've actually also like almost exclusively written svelte, uh, with the exception of Astro, of course. But today, I want to talk about a different thing. That's because I have returned to something different than uh, svelte, and it is React. Today, I want to talk about my little React project for fun that I've built. So yeah, let's just go. Uh, we have the code base right here, and I will also link the code base down below. Uh, we can hit bun install, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna head and do bun dev, and we already have our thing set up right here. So let's quickly sign in. Okay. So this is what the application actually looks like. We have a little slider for um, giving it the rating and a little path for notes. Oops, I didn't want to do that. So what is this? It says headache tracker up here. And this is kind of exactly what it is because um, yeah, I just wanted to build some, <laughs> I just wanted to build a headache tracker. And I thought, yeah, this would be a very nice experiment for that. I went ahead and built this. We can also add some notes, for example, my exposure two screens was a bit high today, which is kind of true as a developer, where it actually doesn't really make sense that we give it a rating of zero. So we would give it a rating of two. So what is actually behind this? And by the way, this is also like keyboard navigation proper because it's powered by Shad UI. But what is this actually? So we have better T stack, which is actually powering this thing. And I got to tell you, I didn't really do much outside of this vault world in last time, in latest times. And this thing blew me away because, you know, I always wanted to like go back to React and try it out again, especially with tan stack. But their CLI is just not there yet. They have uh, created TS router. They have TS router app, but it's still in beta. So it's not there yet. And this thing just was way better or just way more mature. And the cool thing is your stack, your choice. So you can configure your ideal TypeScript environment with all the options you need. So what can we actually choose from here? We can select the front end and they have many options here. We can also have React Native, yeah, React Router, Tansac Start, and Next.js. I went with Tansac Router um, because one of the things that I also wanted to try out is um, having a separate front end and back end because I mean, I would have made my life too easy if I just chose React here, uh, Next.js here. So Tensec uh, Router was the way to go. I also chose Bun because um, I've been working with PNPM much lately and I wanted to try out Bun. I tried out Hono because I've heard many, many good things about it. Uh, the same goes for TRPC. And I got to tell you, TRPC, damn. I wish we had something like TRPC in our Svelte thing. I mean, we technically could use it, but not in Svelte kit, unfortunately. And for the database, I went with Postgres, of course, Drizzle and Neon for a cloud based like thing. Better Auth and then Bun as package manager. I, I don't think I chose, yeah, I chose Biome here because I think there's no ESLint by default. So I, I went with Biome. That's about it. Yeah, you could also choose uh, Turbo and PWA and Husky. So, but I, I didn't, I didn't want to choose that. I, I just wanted to use Biome so that I did like integrates well with my editor. And this is basically what I went with. Yeah, so then we can copy this command and just paste in our terminal and we have like basically a very nice app set up already. So let's let's actually go ahead and see how this works. So we have basically our two apps here and with a packages directory with a global package where I just store my Zot schemas because I think these are very important to share between both apps, especially um, for the Z new entry where I use it as a form, but also as an input in TRPC. But yeah, we have a web and we have a source. And in here we have some routes. And the front end is like I said, using the Tansac router. And <clears throat> what we basically have here is my entire like application. We have some uh, React query stuff going on in combination with TRPC. I mean, this app is kind of cool, you know, I don't even like know how or where to start. But yeah, it has, it uses use query and TRPC to call um, to like get the entries. And then we go ahead and do 
this so we have an entry card little yeah then we have also an entry form which is probably the like coolest thing i've built in this i'm using tansac form for this and tansac form is good it's very good. Like I've been waiting for something like Tansac form in React forever because in SvelteKit we have super forms and super forms basically carries the form stuff in the Svelte ecosystem. But in like the React ecosystem, Tansac form pushed forward uh, the form world like very much. They say they say what they are right here. Headless, performant and type safe form state management for TypeScript, React, Vue, Angular, Solid. We are of course only interested in React, but it's cool that you could theoretically also use it for some other stuff but what we're basically doing here we are creating a form hook here and the nice thing is is that for like full control we're already passing our components right in so input is coming from shatsian ui button and slider as well and <clears throat> then we are just making the default inputs here so infer input type of trpc on new entry let's see if we can go to trpc yeah this on our a new entry like this is so cool like we just open the directory on server uh because we command clicked on a a um mutation this crazy yeah so then we just pass in some form options i think this is like very weird that i have to do this like separately and then because i'm gonna use form options down here as well and here we're initializing the mutation and then we are actually calling the use app form hook right here to and the, with the validators and stuff and to do what we want to do um and i think this should be down below because the re form should be reset after um we have some we have everything set up unsuccess there's no unsuccess okay good and then we're just doing our like form on submit, preventing the default, handling the submit. Oops. And what do we do as well? We, yeah, we have our app fields here. And down there, we specify our labels and our sliders um, here. So, like the slider is the, this one, or is it that one? And the same goes with down there. So this is basically how it works in the front end. And in the back end, um, we have this app router defined here, which is like a TRPC router. Um, where do we import? Yeah, we import a router from TRPC and router. Yeah, okay. And we just have all of these like different, like some of them are queries, but this one um, is a mutation and it also takes an input. And the cool thing is that in this input, we can actually type it by giving it a Zod object as it, like the input validator. And then we actually mutate the stuff here. So um, this is also a thing that we we do. And then if we, of course, like do this, we insert the DB with just Rizzle. Like it's basically just Rizzle. And the same actually goes with the deleting of the, the deletion of the entry um down there <clears throat> so yeah what is what is cool about this stack what what did i really like so first of all i really like that you can basically just call these um how do i say you can just call these queries like as a function you can really do this in svelte kit because you have your like loaders and your actions but you can actually run these as functions directly in your Svelte code. And it's also end-to-end -end type safe. So if I'm pressing command click on this one, like I said, I just get redirected directly to here, which is nuts, I guess, in my opinion. I mean, this is just crazy that I can just jump from front end to back end, um, like instantly. This is crazy. Um, and what I also like don't really understand is why do you do all these context stuff? So um, people in the comment section down below, please explain to me why why context? Why is this everywhere? I mean, I guess you don't have to import this stuff every time. But for me, it doesn't really cool. Like, why do you have to do this like concept stuff? Um, yeah, I, AI helped me a bit in this thing. But actually, because so many technologies like... Um, Tansac router or Tanstack 
like the newer Tansac query and also uh, especially Tansac form are kind of new, um, AI can really help much. So I built most of this myself, but yeah, I gotta admit this is also in a very um, complex app to build. So yeah, not really, not really a miracle that I could build this myself. And I of course already have like a bit of a bit of you know memories from the old days of using React with Vita single page applications. Um, yeah, so cool thing uh, or one thing that bugged me as well while building this is that I actually have to call this query in here and not in my loader because I wanted to call it in my loader like this and then just um, return uh, return this and then I could have um, route dot uh, loader use loader data and then I could I could just do uh, I could just do this but for for uh, some reason when I reset my or when I like submit my form and I do this in here and I call this invalidation thing here it doesn't work anymore I need to or I would have need to uh, call router dot invalidate which is not here but I call router dot invalidate but that actually made like the whole page like do this every time I would uh, submit a form and yeah oh yeah I I can't even do this because um, I can't uh, run or I can't hit the use query inside of this one so this was like completely chaos and I got the workaround but then it didn't work with the invalidation and now I'm not just like a bit confused why I can't use uh, invalidation so I just left it like this and just use the query here in the component directly so please, if you're um, a React wizard, please also help me. But yeah, other than that, I was very pleased with working with this. At first, it was a bit of a overhead because, you know, two folders, like two directories, a web directory and a server directory. This was bugging me a bit at first. But now that I've worked with it like for three days, yeah, this is the third day, the Monday. Now I'm actually very happy with how it goes. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Aman who is building this. He, yeah, like I said, he is building this better T stack stuff, which is very convenient because he had so good um like support. I DM'd him and he like almost instantly responded and was very helpful. So I also gave him a little um tip here. You should do as well if you like some open source stuff out there. So will I stay with React or yeah? Yeah, it's React. It's not React. It is React. I must say, probably if I see like a very specific use case where I want like higher interactivity with my app and um, I want to go ahead and just be a bit brave and try out something new, then I'd go ahead and say, yeah, of course, I'm going to try this as well. And of course, like to prototype certain stuff, like to do simple apps like this, um, like headache tracker, I'm going to use this for sure. Also because of chats and UI. If I'm building a React app, this would be certainly the way I would build a React app. And oh yeah, one thing I want to mention is the deployment. Because I didn't deploy this app and I have no, or I don't really know how should I deploy it. So the front end, it wouldn't be like very difficult to deploy. It's just a Vite front end. And if I go to Vercel, for example, it, where is it here? Headache tracker. It also automatically recognizes that web is a front end project. For the back end, I'm actually not sure how to deploy Hano to Vercel. So I'm going to have to figure that out. And I actually can't really imagine that it's like too difficult for Vercel to just support Hano. But I think there's also like a Vercel API route here cell functions yeah so this could also be a way but I need to um, go ahead and check this out maybe what, what do we have on Hano okay react router yeah I'm gonna check this out and I'm gonna tell you how my experience was um, on X probably so yeah follow me there if you don't already and if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also give me a like and we'll see you in the next one bye